All right. This one is for all my writers that feel like their piece is all finished. Well, I have finished in the quotation marks because I think you're finished for now. Before you can officially be finished and think that you're through, I have a checklist for you to check off. This is our small moment personal narrative checklist that you're going to go through and check up all the things to make sure you've covered everything you need for the just right personal narrative. But before we can do that, I have a read aloud for you to listen to on our Google Sites. This read aloud is a book by Patricia Polacco, and it's called An A from Miss Keller. In this story, you have a job. You have a checklist that you're going to follow while you listen to this story. This is a personal narrative checklist. You are going to be checking and seeing, does this text include all personal narrative elements? And you're going to be searching or while well, listening very closely for all the text evidence you can find, and you're going to carefully record it onto your checklist. This is going to help you prepare for what you need to look for in your own writing when you're doing your own checklist. So this is what a personal narrative checklist looks like. And if you have yours in front of you, you can follow along. One says, a small moment. You're checking to see if Patricia Polacco wrote about a seed or a watermelon. And I want you to write down what her seed is that she wrote about. Two is sequential order, meaning that the events in the story happen in order like this, beginning, middle, and end. And I want you to tell me if Patricia Polacco did that and what is her beginning, middle, and end of her story. Then the next one says, vivid exact details. I want you to see, does Patricia Polacco zoom in and stretch out all her important events over a lot of pages? If so, check that off. Number four says, strong emotions. Does Patricia Polacco do the show not tell? Is she using a lot of feelings and emotions? Check it off and list a couple feelings that you heard in the story. Number five says dialogue. That's all the quotation marks, character speaking. You want to check and see that she did that. Put a check mark if she did. And the last one says reflective ending. What did the author learn? Or how did the events in this story change Patricia Polacco? Check that off if she did it too. So you want to make sure that in number one, number two, three, four, five, and six, Patricia Polacco has a check mark in all of them. I want you to write the small moment. I want you to write the beginning, middle, end. I want you to tell me some strong emotions and the rest should all have check marks if she followed the checklist correctly. Then what you are going to be doing after you listen and do the checklist, if you flip over your paper, there's another side to it. It's a checklist for you. You're going to read your own writing and you're going to listen to yourself and your words intently, just like you did to Patricia Polacco's story, and see if you met all the things that you needed on that checklist. And well, if you did, that's great. You're ready to start a new piece. And if you didn't, well then, writer, you know exactly what to get started on and do. Fix those areas that you didn't check on your checklist. Now, go ahead and get started for me.